Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. This is your host, Trillionaire. Very happy to be with you again. Today is March 26th. It's pretty late in the evening. I would even call it nighttime now. It's about 9 p.m. over here on the West Coast. Obviously, the best coast being from California. Just kidding. But anyways, uh, what we're talking about today is Maker Dow. And we're going to be discussing what it is in layman's terms. By all means, we're not going to be going into detail on it, but I'm going to be telling you guys why I think this is a platform that you should spend time getting to know. And I'm going to give you some great resources to go ahead and, and learn more about it. Okay. Uh, before we jump right into uh, learning about MakerDAO, we're going to go ahead and check out the market in its current conditions and I'm going to be showing you guys a great use case for MakerDAO because of this current market. This is uh, something you guys are going to want to stay tuned into for potential money-making opportunity in this down market. Okay, so what do we have today? I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page real quick. We have a market that has Bitcoin down at 7%, Ethereum down at 11.5%, Ripple down at 10%. 11%, okay? We're seeing a whole lot of double digit negatives, all right? Um, quality coins like Lisk, Omise Go, a lot of people like Nano, these, these are all in double digit negatives. So clearly, clearly we're having a down day. Neo is down 15% at just $55, okay? That would have been a steal uh, not long ago, month and a half ago. People would be you know, itching to get it, and yet right now it's selling off pretty considerably, okay? So that's the current uh, market. I want to take a quick look at the biggest gainers and losers, and even in this major down market, we do have some massive gainers, of course, only with a volume at 134 grand, not difficult for a pump to uh, to make 100% gain, even in a 7% Bitcoin down market there, okay? Even Verge, making some significant gains at 14%. Uh, and this is in terms of USD value. In terms of Bitcoin value, it would be even higher, I would imagine. It's showing the same. Perhaps it's not actually making the change over here uh, for one for the other. That seems to be the case. All right, so biggest losers. We have Royal Kingdom Coin, and not surprising again, with a volume of only 111,000, very easy to manipulate uh, cryptocurrencies uh, when their volume is extremely low like that. Things to keep in mind, folks, for the newer traders out there. Uh, anything over here quality that I would like to pick up? I'm not quite seeing anything. OCN, something that I've been paying much attention to, uh, this has a pretty low market cap and its volume is always very high in relation to its market cap, about 27.5 million down about 22%. Uh, this one I like to pick up when it's down, I do. Um, this is a medium term play for me, you know, next three to six months and I'm picking it up on these down swings. And uh, it's been good for me, no lie. Um, because it's such a small market cap, I tend to, uh, you know, when it swings up 50%, I'll sell off some of it. And uh, when it drops down, I might go ahead and buy in with the same uh, amount that I sold off of, you know, and, and have a, a larger stack in OCN. So that's how I've been playing that. Um, it's been working out well for me. And that's what I like to do in smaller cap cryptos. And uh, that is a focus of my channel, and that's why I mention smaller cap cryptos that I'm interested in. Maybe I'll go ahead and do a video on OCN pretty soon here. Do want to do some videos on SafeX and uh, more videos on ICOs coming out in the near future here. But for now, we're talking about MakerDAO. And that's going to do it for our little market analysis there. So let's go ahead and get into MakerDAO. What the heck is it? Well, this is the Dai Explorer, okay? Not really gonna explain what MakerDAO is, but let's just go ahead and check out MakerDAO.com, okay? So MakerDAO has a cryptocurrency known as Dai, that's D-A-I. Maybe I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. 
That's how I've heard other people pronounce it. If I'm pronouncing it incorrectly and you are a fan of MakerDAO, please let me know. I would love to be pronouncing it the appropriate way. D-A-I, die. Uh, it is a decentralized stable coin. Okay, why die? It's a cryptocurrency that is stabilized against the value of the U.S. dollar. Okay, it's created by the Dai stablecoin system, a decentralized platform that runs on the Ethereum blockchain. Okay, so why is this important? You guys can read all this in your own time, but I have been, a, um, you know, testing and using Dai, and the more I use it the more I like it. When I initially heard of this concept, I thought, wow, that's a really good idea, but I didn't quite understand everything around it. And I'm still not going to sit here and tell you that I understand every little facet of it, but I do have a much better grasp of what the MakerDAO system entails and how it does work. Okay, so I'm going to break this down as quick and uh, simple as possible for you guys, okay? How does this work? How does DAI work? All right, so... Here we are on the DAI Explorer, okay? This is by MakerDAO, and that's dai.makerdao.com, all right? And so what is this? Uh, this website right here is a decentralized website. It, it's a decentralized um, bank, essentially. It allows you to generate your own loans. And what does this have to do with DAI? Um, well, this is how DAI gets made. This is how DAI gets minted. Essentially, DAI is a dollar-stable cryptocurrency, a dollar-stable ERC-20 token, okay, that is backed by collateral. And currently, the collateral it's backed by is Ethereum, but in the future, there's going to be all sorts of different cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin included, that will be allowed to be locked in these smart contracts, okay? This, smart, this particular smart contract that's used to mint DAI is called a CDP. A CDP, if you look down here, uh, is what's known as a collateralized debt position. And here uh, we have a couple tabs. We have my CDPs. I don't have any open. Um, you have open CDPs. You have unsafe CDPs. You have closed CDPs. And you have all CDPs. Okay. And unfortunately, you can't click on these tabs to uh, sort the fields. That would be nice to add in the future. But um, for now, we can just go ahead and have a look at this. And we see that, you know, they show s different statuses for them and uh, it shows different actions that you can perform with CDPs. All right. So why the heck would somebody want to create their own loan? I don't know. Have you ever walked into a bank and the banker, you know, wanted to ask you all sorts of questions? You know, how much money are you making? Um, can you give us all your bank statements? Uh, do you have any other assets? Uh, how much debt do you have? You know what? When you come to this decentralized lending platform, you don't need to answer any of those questions. It's more like a pawn shop, um, except without all of the questions. Again, even in pawn shops, there's going to be questions, you know what I mean? And they're going to charge you exorbitant fees. There's no exorbitant fees here. I mean, the worst fee you can get is a 13% fee when your collateralized debt position gets liquidated. But if you follow smart and safe practices, you don't go and take out the maximum amount of um, money that you, uh, that you can, that you can draw, okay? which is 66% of your collateral. So if you put up 100 grand, at most you would be able to take out $66,000. You would never want to do that. You know, you might take out, you know, $20,000 or $10,000, something very reasonable. So the marketplace could go ahead and drop a significant amount and you would still be okay, all right? If the market did drop a significant amount, then you could go ahead and purchase DAI if you weren't already holding the DAI and immediately just go ahead and draw your crypto out and it's safe. Or you could go ahead and buy more, uh, in this case, Ethereum, since that's all that's available, and add it to uh, the, you know, go ahead and go through the process and add it to your collateralized debt position. And then it would have a lower liquidation price instead of 246 dollar 247 dollars it would essentially you know drop down um, in relation to however much if uh, pooled ethereum you put in there okay now i said pooled ethereum okay uh for you to 
create a collateralized debt position, you can't simply take Ethereum and put it into um, your CDP. You would need to first wrap your Ethereum, and then you would need to convert your wrapped Ethereum, otherwise known as WETH or W-F, into pooled Ethereum, okay? And once it's pooled Ethereum, now you can go ahead and lock it, follow me down here, you can lock it into your collateralized debt position, okay? Uh, if you so chose, you could free it from it by adding, uh, by paying uh, down whatever, I'm sorry, you could free it once all of your Ethereum was out of there. You could draw DAI from it, um, if you so chose, the dollar stable token. Um, you could wipe, I don't quite know what that is. You could shut in, that's close uh, the CDP. You could give the CDP to a different token ad address if you so chose, perhaps something that's a little more secure than the one that you used to make it initially. Or I've heard uh, you can actually transfer once you've made the CDP and it's in a hot, you know, a hot wallet like MetaMask or MISC, whatever, or uh, Parity, instead of that, people like to be more secure, you can go ahead and, and uh, transfer that to a address that's on a hard wallet, okay? You know, your ledger, your Trezor, so that you can be a little more secure about it. I fully encourage that. Okay, so <clears throat> that is uh, MakerDAO in a nutshell. That is DAI. Um, why the heck is DAI so awesome? I don't know. Um, for those of us that don't like to be um, tracked by the government, although they know everything that I've done, I've not really done anything to obfuscate things for them. So tax man, have at it. Have a good time. I'll be reporting everything. But um, you know, for those of us that don't like to be tracked so much, uh, one could you know go on a local bitcoins.com you know uh, you know with five thousand dollars let's say in this example ten thousand let's make it a little more round ten thousand dollars okay uh, buy Bitcoin uh, obviously you're gonna have to buy it at uh, whatever ch time frame the person is willing to sell it on you're not gonna be able to buy it at the oh it just dipped down crazy low I'm gonna be able to buy it. that's not the way uh, fiat exchanges work in the real world unfortunately I wish it was sometimes people can get lucky but it's not the way it works but you know, um, you go ahead and you find a seller, you give them your $10,000, you buy Bitcoin, you immediately sell your Bitcoin for, um, for DAI, okay, on whichever exchange that you can find to do it on. And if you want to do that, then all you need to do is go over to um, CoinMarketCap and type in DAI. And uh, you could click on Markets here. And then you'll see different exchanges and different trading pairs, okay? So we want a trading pair that's with Bitcoin. All right, looks like right now there is no trading pair with Bitcoin. So what would you do? Um, psh, what am I talking about? I'm crazy. Right at the, t right at the top there, Buy Box has Bitcoin die, okay? They got 642000 643000 and they got a price of just under a dollar. And you'll notice some have a little over a dollar and some are right on a dollar, okay? Like I said, dollar stable token. And all of these cryptos over here work in concert to make sure that's stable for, for one dollar, okay? So that's what you do. You would buy your your Bitcoin with with fiat and you would immediately sell it on buy box for die bam now you've got a digital dollar stable token that you can do whatever you want you can wait for the market to drop you can you know you could go ahead and leave it in Bitcoin if you wanted but that's why that um, dollar stable token is so awesome and you don't have to trust a central bank like you do with you know USD Tether who goes and prints three hundred million dollars. Like what is that? Uh, you don't have to trust USD Tether at all. Um, any central banker, you don't have to trust the bank behind the crypto. You don't have to trust the people who are operating the crypto um, like you do with Tether. You simply need to trust the system that makers made. And it's all open source and it's all decentralized so you guys can see what's under the hood, okay? Um, there are many questions I'm sure you guys will have. I certainly did and I still do have many questions. So where do I suggest you guys go? Well, naturally, first off, I'd suggest you go ahead and you explore this website, but I'd also suggest that you go to the MakerDAO subreddit. 
fantastic place for resources, though there are a lot of people speculating on answers in here and whatnot. So if you're not sure of anything, you haven't checked, you know, you're not absolutely sure about something, you can always go to uh, MakerDAO's, um, you can always tweet these guys. You know, they're right here at, at MakerDAO on Twitter. Very easy to contact. Um, and if, you know, you want to save them some time and maybe even save yourself some time from, you know, waiting for an answer, you can always go to the MakerDAO website and you can, you know, learn about it. You can click on the purple paper and really get uh, the technical information that um, you're looking for. If you'd like something a little uh, easier to understand, perhaps you'd want to read the white paper Perhaps you want to read a little bit about market dynamics. And folks, I, I fully encourage you guys to check the system out. Again, I'm not going in depth on how everything's working in this video. That's not really the goal of it. The goal is to kind of point your attention towards something that I think is phenomenal. And people talk about, you know, no use cases in crypto and, you know, uh, adoption and whatnot. Folks, this is a phenomenal use case for crypto. I mean, if you don't like banks, you can literally say, fuck the banks. Like, this is it. This is it. And it does make sense and it does work once you've actually, you know, read everything. But my God, what what better way do you want? What, what more do you want? What do you want? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I encourage you guys to go ahead and read this in your own time. It is in depth and this is just the white paper, if I'm not mistaken. So... Anyways, folks, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thanks for sticking around. If you do like uh, the video, you like what I brought to you, uh, by all means, hit the like button. If you want to see more cryptocurrency videos in the future, I like to focus on ICOs and small cap cryptos. Um, if I'm not focusing on those two subjects, I'm focusing on something that presents a real opportunity for you. And MakerDAO presents a real opportunity um, in this bearish market. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to make the video longer, but now that the market's down, okay, let's say you don't have any extra fiat to, to take out, you could go and put a hundred, let's say a hundred thousand in, take 10,000 in die, okay, and that would not be super risky. You would not be going crazy over leverage or something. The, the Ethereum would literally have to drop by a factor of 10 um, for you to, for you to lose that factor of nine. For you to lose that that's not accurate but it would have to drop significantly for you to lose it so it'd be very safe okay if you took out ten thousand from a hundred thousand and that would give you and, and that's if you wanted to hold the ethereum regardless and now you'd have ten thousand dollars extra to go and invest in whatever the hell you want you could go and put it in more ethereum if you wanted you could go and buy up some smaller cap cryptos um, that you know you're interested in and and go that route if you wanted since those tend to spike much quicker than the larger cap cryptos they also go down much quick quicker than the larger cap cryptos so got to be safe with those anyways folks thanks so much for walking watching this has been your host trillionaire i'm looking forward to making more videos to get out to you guys uh, later this week haven't been pumping out videos because you know i don't like to put something out there unless i'm really presenting a real opportunity with you unless i'm just testing out my uh my audio setup or something and i don't do that too often so anyways talk to you guys soon peace